There's going to be three folks here. Let's say people are getting a much milder illness from this new virus. Could that be a good thing? Could we be on our way to this virus being endemic? Something we live with, something more of a common cold rather than the pandemic that we're currently in and, and you know, high deaths and, and all that stuff. Could this be something that is a positive almost, I guess? We're moving past it now. If these cases really are mild, or I think the greater percentage of them is mild, let's say, because it's probably not going to be 100%, that would be a great thing. Whether that means that the virus has changed to become What's the the to cause mild illness, or the case yeah, that right. prior exposure to virus or vaccination mm -hmm. is turning this from like what can be a really serious infection into generally more of a mild infection. And that's how we kind of move, as you said, towards endemicity as opposed to like this acute emergency that we've been in now for almost two years. Andrew Joseph, reporter at Stat News. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> the White House also this week detailed its new strategy to fight coronavirus and keep Omicron at bay. One of the big changes is to tighten up the testing timelines for international travelers coming to the U.S. People will now have to test within a day of departure, regardless of vaccination status. The White House also has plans for testing reimbursements and more booster shots. For more on all this, we'll speak to the White House reporter at the Washington Post. So, the issue is the tightening of the testing timeline for travelers who are entering the U.S. from overseas. And up until now, international travelers had to test 72 hours before their departure for the U.S. And now what they have, are saying is that international travelers will have to test within a day of departure and that they will have to test the environment for vaccination status. So even fully vaccinated people will have to test. And we will have to go to the and foreign nationals and are expected to take effect early next week. So it's a way for the White House, I think, to make more stringent some of the screening that is currently in place for international travel and to try and mitigate the spread of this new variant here at home. But as you said, it is already here. So there are also some other measures that they are taking on the domestic front too. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard to contain a virus like this. And obviously, one of the biggest methods that travels is with international travel, right? All of these variants of concern have the region of another country, and obviously, they're getting here through that global travel, which is what happens all the time. So, you know, so cool. is, is, is it effective to shut down travel from certain countries? There's a lot of that stuff to debate, but you know, you have to try to act quickly and do whatever you can. You mentioned some of the other domestic things. This one might not make too many people happy, but the mass requirements when you're traveling, that's going to be extended as well. Yeah, so we really now we have this mass moment that's in place for travel and food, buses, trains, and a whole circuit called to a mass at the airport, the indoor bus terminal. So that was an issue that expired on January 18th, but the president announced today that they will be sending a mass mandate in the month. I do think it's interesting though because well, yeah, there's a bit of a hearing from President Biden where he really emphasized that the administration is relying on existing tools, and he told the new mandate, and really what he did was he emphasized vaccinations and boosters. And he really saw the kind of aggressive tone that the president had earlier in the year in the different phases of the pandemic where he was calling on certain officials, for example, to enforce mask mandates in public commercial spaces. That's kind of missing this time around because the administration's been doing research, you already have vaccines and testing.